I meet a lot of uh, young people, high school, college, who are really almost panicked about discernment. And I can understand because you start to think, if I, what happens if I choose the wrong path? My whole life will be ruined. Uh, so first of all, you don't have to choose your path when you're 18. Um, so that's the part of the exploring, being open and brave enough to explore. You know, even if you only thought about it a little bit, um, visiting a monastery is a good thing. Uh, take the time to visit other communities. You will know when you visit and when you start sinking into the charism of the community and each Benedictine community or each Carmelite community, they're all a little bit different. And God will let you know when you're, you, when you found the right fit. Look at many aspects of what life holds for you. Take a look at married life. You can't try it necessarily, but take a look at married life. Take a look at what it means to be a mom. Take a look at what it means to be a spouse, a faithful spouse. Take a look at professional careers. You have to be, um, have a real strong belief in God and do what he says. You also have to have a certain amount of being able to take orders from other people, which, you know, as a nurse, you've been doing that for years. <laughs> so that was easy. <laughs> The other is, I think, is remaining open when you're younger, high school, college, right out of college, um, not shutting any doors. And I think a lot of that is just done through prayer. If you're really worried about your um, path in life, your discernment, um, if you're praying about it and really just open to what God says, you're not, he's not going to send you down the wrong path. You know, I think it, uh, prayer and, and, and uh, patience, uh, waiting for uh, God's plan to unfold for them and uh, because I've had to to be patient in my process of, of discernment and 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 getting into my religious vocation if she's called to religious life she will know that this is where she belongs and her gifts and her talents can be developed and enlarged and give um, other people promise give other people hope. I would encourage any younger person to really examine that call and to spend time perhaps with a spiritual director who can lead that discernment process. Just to listen to where God is or seems to be calling the individual. There's lots of time. There's a whole lifetime ahead of them. I think I just try tell people try not to worry so much. Um, if you're praying and open, you will find your path. Even if it's not tomorrow, it will happen. Because we're here to serve other people. That's our fundamental uh, calling because we have the gospel call. We're Catholic, we're Christian. We follow the gospel call to be of service to other people, always.